Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, right angle at B, the side which is opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side in the right angle triangle. And the side with the vertical direction is called the perpendicular. And the side with the horizontal direction is called the base. So by Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. In this right angle triangle ABC, the hypotenuse AC square is equal to perpendicular AB square plus base BC square. Exercise 6.5. Question number one. PQR is a triangle, right angled at P. If PQ is equal to 10 centimeter and PR is equal to 24 centimeter, find QR. Here we have to find the hypotenuse of the right angled triangle PQR. By Pythagoras theorem, we have the hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. In this figure, the hypotenuse is QR and the perpendicular is PQ and the base is PR. So QR squared is equal to PQ squared plus PR squared. Replacing PQ by 10 and PR by 24. 10 squared is 100. 24 squared is 576. So QR squared is equal to 676. Now taking root over on both sides. Root over of QR squared and root over of 676. Here we have to find the square root of 676 by prime factorization method we find the prime factors of 676. 676 divided by 2, we are getting 338. 338 divided by 2, we are getting 169. 169 is divisible by 13. Dividing by 13, we are getting 13. And again, 13 divided by 13, we are getting 1. So the prime factors of 676 are 2 into 2 into 13 into 13. Here, square is removed when root over is taken. So the square root of QR square is QR. Writing all the prime factors of 676 as 2 into 2 into 13 into 13. 2 into 2 means 2 square. 13 into 13 means 13 square. Here the squares are removed when root over is taken. So QR is equal to 2 into 13. Therefore, QR is equal to 26 centimeter. Here, in this right angle triangle, the length of the hypotenuse QR is 26 centimeter. Question number two, ABC is a triangle, right angled at C. If AB is equal to 25 centimeter and AC is equal to seven centimeter, find BC. Here we have to find the length of the base, BC. By Pythagoras theorem, we have hypotenuse squared is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Here the hypotenuse is AB and the perpendicular is AC and the base is BC. So AB squared is equal to AC square plus BC square. Replacing the measure of AB by 25 and the measure of AC by 7. 
we have to find the length of BC. 25 squared is 625. 7 squared is 49. Plus BC square. Transposing plus 49 to the left side becomes minus 49. So BC squared is equal to 625 minus 49. BC squared is equal to 625 minus 49 is 576. By taking root over on both sides, BC square root over is equal to 576 root over. Here we have to find the square root of 576. By prime factorization, dividing 576 by 2, we get 288. 288 divided by 2, we get 144. 144 divided by 2, we get 72. 72 divided by 2, we get 36. 36 divided by 2, we get 18. 18 divided by 2, we get 9. Here, 9 is divisible by 3. 3 divides 9, we get 3. Again, 3 is divided by 3, we get 1. These are the prime factors of 576. Square is removed when root over is taken. So we get BC. Writing the prime factors of 576. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. 2 into 2 is 2 square. 2 into 2 is 2 square. 2 into 2 is 2 square. And 3 into 3 is 3 square. The squares are removed when root over is taken. So BC is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Therefore, the length of BC is 24 centimeter. Here in this figure, the length of the base BC is 24 centimeter. Question number three. A 15 meter long ladder, here AB is a ladder whose length is 15 meter. It reaches a window which is 12 meter from the ground. On placing it against a wall, find the distance of the wall from the foot of the ladder. Here the question is asking to find the distance from B to C. By Pythagoras theorem, we have hypotenuse squared is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Here, AB is the hypotenuse. That means the length of the ladder is taken as the hypotenuse. Perpendicular is AC, which means perpendicular AC means the height of the window from the ground and the base BC, which is the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall. Replacing AB by 15, which is the hypotenuse, and AC by 12, the height of the window from the ground, and we have to find BC, which is replaced by A, that is the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall. 15 squared is equal to 225 and 12 squared is 144 plus a square. Plus 144 transposing the other side becomes minus 144. So a square is 225 minus 144. 81. Taking root over on both sides. Square root of a square and square root of 81. Taking the square root of 81 by prime factorization method. 
81 is divisible by 3. 3 divides 81. We are getting 27. 27 is divided by 3. We get 9. And 9 is, again, 9 is divided by 3. We get 3. 3 divided by 3, we get 1. So the prime factors of 81 are 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Taking the square root over of a square, removing the square by the square root over, we get a. Writing 81 as the product of prime factors. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Here, 3 into 3 means 3 square. 3 into 3 means 3 square. Squares are removed when root over is taken. So, a is equal to 3 into 3. Therefore, the length of A is equal to 9 cm. Thus, the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall is 9 cm. Question number 4. Which of the following can be the sides of a right triangle? Sub number 1. The given sides are 2.5 cm. 6.5 centimeter and 6 centimeter. Here the longest side is 6.5 centimeter. We know that in a right angle triangle, the longest side is the hypotenuse. We can make the solution like this. Taking the square of the longest side, 6.5 square is 42.25 centimeter. Sum of the squares of the other two sides. 2.5 square plus 6 square. 2.5 square is 6.25 centimeter. 6 square is 36 centimeter. So the sum of the squares of the other two sides is 42.25 centimeter. Since the square of the longest side in this triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Hence, the given sides form a right triangle. Sub number two, the given sides are two centimeter, two centimeter, and five centimeter. Here, the longest side is five centimeter, which is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. Solution. Now, taking the square of the longest side, five square is 25 centimeter. Sum of the squares of the other two sides. 2 square and 2 square. 2 square is 4 centimeter. 2 square is 4 centimeter. 4 plus 4 is 8 centimeter. In this case, the square of the longest side is 25 centimeter, which is not equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, 8 centimeter. Since the square of the longest side in a triangle is not equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Hence, the given sides do not form a right triangle. Question number five. A tree is broken at the height of five meters from the ground and its top touches the ground at a distance of 12 meters from the base of the tree. Find the original height of the tree. Here in this figure, the distance from C to D is the original height of the tree. And A is the point at which the tree broke. The distance from A to D is the broken part of the tree. And the top of the broken part of the tree touches the ground at a distance of 12 meters from the base of the tree. Here BC is the distance of the top of the broken part of the tree from the base of the tree. By Pythagoras theorem, we have hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Here, AB is the hypotenuse. That means the broken part of the tree becomes the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. The perpendicular AC is the unbroken part of the tree. And the base BC is the distance of the top of the broken part of the tree 
from the base of the tree. Here SC is replaced by five and BC replaced by 12. Five squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. So AB squared is equal to 25 plus 144, that is 169. Taking root over on both sides. AB squared root over is equal to 169 root over. Here, the square root of 169 is taken by using prime factorization method. 169 is divisible by 13. Dividing 169 by 13, we get 13. And again, 13 is divided by 13, we get 1. So the prime factors of 169 are 13 into 13. Here the square is removed by taking the square root over, we get AB and writing 169 as the product of prime factors, 13 into 13. AB is equal to root over 13 square. Here square is removed when root over is taken. So the length of AB is 13 meter. That is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle which is the length of the broken part of the tree. But AB is equal to AD, the broken part of the tree, which is 13 meter. Thus, the original height of the tree can be found out by adding AC and AD. AC is 5 meter and AD is 13 meter. 5 meter plus 13 meter is equal to 18 meter. So the original height of the tree is 18 meter.